right guys today I'm going to prepare a extremely simple and minimalistic um, pasta dish or pasta cooked with uh, curd cheese I'm using a very good quality Hungarian smoked bacon so this is proper smoked bacon it's not uh, pumped full of um, water and other ingredients and this is very important to get a good quality or you get a good quality smoked pancetta just the same thing really I'm going to also serve it with sour cream and then I'm going to prepare some chicken breast with this um, seasoning which is um, if I literally if I translate this it says red gold um, it's a paprika seasoning um, extremely flavorful I love it if you have an Eastern European um, shop around you um, I'm sure you can find it it's it's very good um, flavor uh, I also have a couple of chilies um, just normal chili for Mrs. T and the scotch bonnet for me um, yeah so this should be a very short video I'm going to start with the bacon and I'm just going to cook this off on a low heat all right yeah it doesn't get any more simple than this and that's one of the reasons I like Hungarian cuisine as well yeah because it's just so simple um, and nothing fancy but very flavorful just like in most cases the fewer ingredients you use the better the dish is so less is more simplicity is king okay so so because this bacon is not very fatty I'm going to add a bit of olive oil and I'm just going to cook this off so this is the first step now this is going to take about 10 minutes so I'm not going to start to cook the pasta just yet I'm just going to prepare the chicken breast very simple I'm just going to butterfly and normally we don't add um, chicken breast to this dish but I fancy some extra protein and I feel like this is a good um, topping for this pasta seasoning very simple just a bit of salt not too much because this seasoning has salt in it as well so I just season one side with salt and pepper and of course piros arany as a red gold it's very 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 flavorful I'm going to be quite generous with it That's amazing. It's basically a um, paprika paste with other uh, bits and bobs. So meanwhile the bacon is getting cooked quickly. Mm, you know what this means? Garlic. That's what I'm going to add some garlic. Not tomato, I will add let's say three uh, cloves of garlic as well.
Ah, oh, this smells amazing. You can smell it's like proper smoked bacon, it's not smoke flavored bacon. There's a huge difference between the two. Be free. Nice beer. Okay, I'm just going to chop the garlic. Again, I'm not going to chop it too fine. I'm not too worried about chopping it too fine. about it. Then it goes in. Oh yes. Amazing smell. It's a shame there is no smell vision. Just going to start to cook the pasta as well at this point. Add um, salt to the water, quite generous with the salt for the pasta. Okay, so the bacon is getting cooked off nicely. It's going to move this into the water to flavor the pasta even more. Um, and actually, once I'm done with the bacon and the garlic, I'm going to cook off the chicken breast. So, again, um, the chicken breast is not traditional, I've just added it as an extra um, part of the dish. You can do the same thing without the chicken breast, it's going to be delicious. Obviously adding the chicken breast adds even more uh, value to the dish. And actually I'm going to add the chili. the chicken breast next in the same pan. Just going to add a little more olive oil and cook the chicken. Going to move the rest of the paste from the chopping board. So you can see that chicken breast is getting cooked through, so I'm just going to turn it. Alright, so chicken breast is getting done nicely. Now, <clears throat> I don't want to waste all that, and if I don't do anything now, then it's just going to burn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of the water from the pasta to deglaze the pan. That's a lot of flavor over there. And if I don't if I don't deglaze the pan, then it's just going to burn. And I don't want to burn all that good flavor. Okay, 
and also the added uh, water is going to help to cook the chicken best. Amazing. Check on the post topic. Perfect. Done. Alright, so the chicken breast and the pasta is done. So I'm just going to remove the chicken breast, let it rest for a couple of um, minutes. I'm just going to save all these um, juices, liquid. and the pasta just fry everything up together and add some black pepper to add the curd cheese as well oh, oh, oh. super simple This uh, brings back memories from my first uh, job when I was a trainee in 1995. We used to sell so many portions of this. A very old fashioned Hungarian pasta dish. Wow. Little taste test. Mm. So simple. It does need a bit of salt. Mm, quite spicy. Oh, of course, I've added the chili as well. Nice. That's pretty much it, guys. Right? It doesn't get any more simple than this. That's it. Okay guys, that's it. Alright, and let's not forget about the sour cream. So if you've seen some of my videos, you have noticed that um, there is a, a theme going on here. When I make Hungarian food, um, we use quite a lot of um, sour cream and paprika, which is no different in uh, today's video. 
I'm just going to add a bit of um, paprika for color. Come on, buddy. Love it. So this is the end result. is an extremely simple pasta dish, um, but I can assure you it's extremely flavorful. And to be honest, it doesn't need anything else. <coughs> of course, um, I have um, made some uh, chicken breast as well to go with it. So I'm just going to add it. Um, and a bit more sour cream to balance that one. Yeah, I mean, wow. Extremely simple dish, extremely tasty. Guys, I hope you're gonna um, try to recreate this and let me know how you like it. And I shall see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.